While Xamarin Informs is already doing a great job with abstracting away all the differences between the different platforms, you still might have some scenarios where you want to differentiate between different platforms and have a different value for maybe, I don't know, font sizes or margins or that kind of stuff. You can do that with a built-in method that is inside Xamarin Informs on platform. Let's see what it's all about right now. So this is the sample app that we'll be using throughout this video. Uh, this is literally just a file new project application. So it has the default Xamarin Forms template. Um, I can show it to you real quick. Here it is. This is what it looks like. And I'm showing you this on Android because um, here's where we are going to implement some differences between iOS and Android. And of course, you can use the other platforms as well, but we are going to focus on iOS and Android right now. So as you can see in the header here, this looks fine on um, Android. But if we switch to iOS, then we see that the header looks a little bit funny here at the top. Um, this is probably specific to the iPhone X and up uh, because it has the notch and everything. So if you're using other iPhones, this might not be a problem. Um, and of course, we should use the safe area for this. Uh, but this makes for a nice example for the platform differences. So there's a couple of different ways to um, go about this. And I'm going to show you um, a few of them. So we can, of course, solve this in code. So it's it's about this label. The frame is fine. The label is a bit too high. So the first thing I can do if we want to fix this in code. Uh, so now it's going to be a strange mixture of XAML and code. But, you know, if you have all coded UI, then uh, this is probably the way you should do it. Um, and I'm just going to name this label simply. And if I go back to the um, code behind, then I can now check um, if my device, which is a, a static class from the Xamarin Forms library, um, and I can inspect the runtime platform and see if that is device.ios. So I will only want to change this value for iOS. Um, and then I can say label.margin is new because it's a thickness. Um, and I can say it starts at the left and goes to the top. Um, then it goes to the right and then it goes to the bottom. So whenever I run this, um, this should solve the problem on iOS, doing it in code. And right after this, I will show you how to do this in XAML. And actually in XAML, there is a couple of different ways of how you can do this. So here we go. Now you can see the label has a nice margin at the top of 20. So this looks much nicer than what it was before. Okay, if we now go back, I stop this. And we're now going to do this in XAML. So if you have um, all of your UI in XAML, then you probably don't want to make uh, this exception and do it in code. So sorry to interrupt. Um, talking about platforms, did you already like subscribe to my channel on this platform? I know it's a good joke. Please do if you like this content. We are going to go back here. We don't need the name then anymore, actually. And what you can do is here, remove this self-closing tag. So we are going to close this now with uh, slash label. There we go. Make it format nicely. And first, we're going to specify the property that we actually want to set. So in this case, it's going to be uh, label.margin. Uh, so we want to be inside that property that you're going to set. So within that property, uh, I'm going to say on platform. You can see there's also on idiom, which is basically the same, but that allows you to set different values, whether you're on a uh, phone or a tablet or maybe a TV or something else. Um, but here we're going to focus on platform and we're going to have to specify the value that we're putting in here. So um, we're going to set the X type arguments and this we're going to have to set to the actual type that is the property that we are going to set. So in this case, the margin. And if you hover over it, you can see it's the thickness. So that's the thing that we're after here. But this could also be an int or a Boolean or whatever. Um, but in this case, it will be the thickness. And it will close it like that. And from here, we can say, OK, I want the values to be different. So we're going to say um, you have to do a little thing in between on platform dot oops platform dot platforms and now in these platforms we can specify the different platforms um, with the different values so in this case we want to have um, iOS because 
you know, if you don't specify a platform, it will just use the default value, which is uh, zero in this case. So we just want to make a difference for iOS. And we set that value and we set it to zero, 20, zero, zero, which is the same as we've just seen. And we can self-close this one. So if we don't specify anything else, this will only apply to iOS. So I will quickly run this to show you that it uh, achieves the absolute same result. Um, and if you want to make a difference between other platforms, you can uh, simply specify those in here as well. And you can make differences that way. So here we go. Um, you can see the margin is applied, so no surprise there. And if you want to do this for um, Android, for instance, you can just specify Android here. And if you want to have 20 on the left as well, you can do that and it will um, make this happen on Android with even different values. So you should be able to do this with every value, um, colors, booleans, you name it, you should be able to do it this way. Now, what could also happen is that you maybe have multiple platforms that do have the same value, but um, others than others. So what we can do then is go here into a field and say, okay, I want this to also be true for UWP. So now for Android and UWP, we have the 20 margin on the left as well. And for iOS, it will still be 20 at the top. So that's what you can do too. Um, the other thing I want to show you, because this is a lot of lines of extra XAML, which we don't really like. So I'm just going to remove this again, including the closing label um, again. So I'm going to make this self-closed again, and I'm going to just add the margin attribute here once more. And then we also have a markup extension. So I can just do a opening bracket here, and I can say on platform. And this is the exact same thing, but now with a much shorter notation. And I can say iOS is, uh, note that you will have to use the single quotes here uh, because else it will get confused. And I can say 0, 20, 0, 0, um, close that bracket as well. And this is a much shorter notation. So you can also do um, Android like this. You can do UWP like this. Uh, you can also set the default value. So that would mean um, whenever it's not iOS, but you still would like to have another default value, then this is the way you can set it. Um, and again, just to show you that this does the exact same thing. Whenever I run this, you will see that the margin is again applied uh, the right way for iOS and um, on Android, it will just behave the way that it did before. So these are the different ways that you can use this um, on-platform code to differentiate values between one platform or the other. Now, one thing that is good to note, I use the single quotes right now because uh, this is kind of a weird value with comma separated values and everything, uh, which is the thickness. So also note that you don't have to specify the type whenever you use the um, markup extension. Uh, but if you want to change, for instance, like the background color of this frame, so let's change that as well. The background color is already in here. Uh, we are going to change this to on platform. Uh, again, there is also a markup extension for on idiom. Um, on platform, iOS is, um, well, here we are going to run into trouble again if we use this hexadecimal value. But if we just want to use a name value like yellow, um, we should be able to just do this. So now you don't need single quotes. Um, I think you can add them if that's what you want. So to be consistent, you could add them anywhere, um, but it's not absolutely necessary. And you can see it already updated because I have hot reload enabled. So whenever I saved this XAML, it updated automatically. And here you can see that it turns into yellow whenever it's uh, ran on iOS. Uh, but you can also leave the single quotes out here. So that's only um, used for whenever the um, values are a little bit more complex, like with commas or anything like that. There you have it. Now you know how to do different values on different platforms uh, with just some lines of code or maybe some XAML. That's totally up to you. Um, if you've liked this content, please like, subscribe, let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed or if there's any other subject you, that you'd like or if there's any other topic that you'd like to see in future videos. Um, until the next time.